In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make an object appear or disappear magically in any direction. Earlier, we did the same thing using the traditional methods, but now we'll use geometry nodes for a more flexible setup, which is very easy to animate. So let's start with a new composition, and instead of this default cube, we'll use a more attractive object like an icosphere. In order to create the vanishing effect for this sphere, we have to go to the Modifiers tab. We'll add a modifier called Geometry Nodes Modifier. Then we'll use a geometry node called Vanishing Geometry. Please note that this node tree is not available natively in Blender, but you can download it from the link given below, and it's absolutely free. Now we can see a field called Factor in this modifier, and if we slowly increase this factor, the object will gradually disappear from left to right, and if we decrease this value, it will reappear like this. Then if we go further and make it negative, the disappearance will happen from right to left. So positive value means it will work toward the positive x-axis, and negative value means it will follow the negative direction of the x-axis. And if we make it perfect zero, then there is no disappearance, we see the whole object. Then we can see another field called direction. Here we can change the axis of this operation. We have x, y, and z direction in the list. It will now disappear vertically or along the z-axis, and the positive and negative values decide if it is top to bottom or bottom to top, just as we saw in the previous case. We can even keyframe these fields to create an animation effect over time. So for frame number one, let's keyframe the current value, or zero. Then we can go to say frame number 50, and we'll change the factor to one for a complete disappearance, and we need to keyframe this. Now if we go to the first frame and run the animation, it will slowly disappear, which looks cool. If we want it to reappear, we can go further, maybe 50 frames down the line. Here we have to change this value back to zero with a keyframe. Then let's go to frame number 150. We'll change the factor to minus one for a reverse direction or top to bottom effect. Finally, let's go to frame number 200. We'll bring back the original object by setting this to zero. With this setup, if we run the animation, it will first disappear, then it will reappear, then it will again disappear in the opposite direction, and finally it appears again. So as you can see, this node tree is very flexible. Let's also take a look at the node tree in the Geometry Nodes Editor. So this is the complete node tree, and there are many nodes used here for various options we discussed. But the primary operation is being done using a Mesh Boolean node, which is here. We are using the original Mesh to do a Boolean subtraction, and the Mesh which will subtract is created from this bounding box node to get the correct dimensions and the location information. The rest of the nodes are there to enable these options in the modifier panel. But sometimes it may not work as intended, Let's use a different object with a disjoint geometry, like a monkey, to discuss that case. We'll add the same geometry node tree called vanishing geometry, as we did for the sphere, but if we try to increase this value, at some point, we'll see that an abnormal output is produced, like we can see something wrong here. We can rectify this by using this option called hole tolerant, which is similar to the hole tolerant option in the Boolean modifier. With this option enabled, we'll get an error-free output, no more extra geometry or wrong mesh. This is an issue of disjoint geometry. Like for this model, these eyes are separate islands, they are disconnected from the rest of the mesh body. For these objects, you have to enable this option to get the correct result. But please remember that the whole tolerant option is CPU intensive, it can make the operation very slow. So use it only when it is absolutely needed. You can further change this node tree if you need any custom handling. You can let us know in the comments if you need any help. So I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.